There appears to be support in the U.S. for some type of military action against Iran to keep it from obtaining a nuclear weapon. Sixty percent of the participants in our new Fox News poll feel that way. National security correspondent Jennifer Griffin tells us the Pentagon is speeding up work on a weapon that could factor into such a conflict. The massive ordnance penetrator, a 30,000 pound bunker buster bomb that the Air Force developed in conjunction with Boeing to attack concrete bunkers and tunnel facilities, requires a quote, urgent upgrade, according to Pentagon officials who requested $81 million in reallocated funds from Congress to ensure that the 20 bombs are battle ready. Defense appropriators on Capitol Hill agreed to the request this week, just one month after Iran announced it would begin uranium enrichment at a hardened underground facility near the city of Qom in the Fardo mountain range. The tunneled facility is believed to be just beyond the range of the bunker buster in question, the largest non-nuclear weapon in the U.S. arsenal. A Pentagon spokesman said the funding was needed to, quote, make the system more survivable. The massive ordnance penetrator, or MOP, is delivered by a B-2 or B-52 bomber plane. Publicly, the Air Force denies this weapon is being rushed for use in the Middle East. So you're not willing to tie these upgrades to a need in Iran? I don't think I am. You know, to put it bluntly. Former House Armed Services Chairman Ike Skelton at the Pentagon to dedicate a new Navy ship in the name of former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords Friday was asked whether the U.S. has the conventional firepower to stop Iran's nuclear program. Do I think so? Of course. Meanwhile, Israel successfully tested upgraded radar for the Aero Missile Defense Shield that it jointly developed with the Pentagon. The Blue Sparrow 2 missile was fired from an undisclosed location deep in the Mediterranean Sea towards Israel. It comes just days after Iran tested its Shehab 3 missile capable of hitting Israel and on the same day that Hamas's prime minister visited Tehran from the Gaza Strip to build warmer relations with Iran, Brett. Jennifer Griffin live at the Pentagon.